Hey, what's up everyone? This is Kray and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. So today we are in our siege battle. We're up against Swarns and Power Rangers. Alright, currently we are at rank 11 as well. Swarns is at rank 21, 6, 5, and 1. And Power Rangers not too far behind at rank 28. Alright, taking a look at the defenses here. Mainly Chandra, Byungcho-ish kind of defense. Dark Siri, Chilling, Jasmine, the standard stuff. Chandra, Nephthys as the speed leads, and for the Tower 9 as well. So a couple of Claras over there, alright? On Tower 6, Power Rangers side, Ophelia Tilmars and the Byungchos. Dark City Asher and Truffles for the Net Force. For the Tower 8, ooh, they do have quite a lot of Sylvias though. A full tower! <laughs> wow. I really want that unit, man. It's so nice. And then Chandra's and Tianlang's over here. We'll be able to start our first match of the day up against this Tianlang, Byungchul, and the Brita. So this one, I think we can just cleave it with the Gemini Leah. Kali will be able to provide the speed buff. We got speed leader as well. They shouldn't cut in between. And we just need to land the armor break coming out from Gemini. That is gonna be one of the most important traits for us to win this one. So here we go. Come on, Gemini. 100% accuracy. Don't fail me. Two out of three. I'll take it. Alright, thankfully the Byungchul and the Brita died. So we do have the Tectonic Shift here. Can we crit? There we go. 24,000. I'm gonna use a second set of the Gemini Leah Cleave. <laughs> Might as well since we already ruined it up. We just shift the runes over. The only downside with this lineup that I have is that my Kali is having the fastest swift only. It does not have high crit rate. So we kind of need to get lucky if we need the tectonic shift in play, right? So... Byungchul dead. The Ophila still alive though. Oh my god. Dismounted Nasha, please. Shit. We can't crit? <laughs> no! Oh my god, can we strip? Okay, Ophelia is dead. How did that Narsha not crit? I'll take it, we can go for the buff here. So with speed buff, we cut. Nice, yep, 14k without crit, we'll take it. Now we need to fight their full Sylvia tower and we are gonna be bringing in the Jean, Leo and Helena. So this one, the old school offense. We should be able to get good controls if my Jean can pop off with the third skill. And Helena will be our damage dealer. Alright, so Leo is just there to slow things down. Probably we can just put it on full HP because it doesn't really matter. I don't like that silence though. Come on, man. We almost got 100% resistance, bro. Can't even resist shit. Okay, nice stun onto the Sylvia. We took quite a lot of damage from that unit. Come on. We need the armor break onto the Sylvia. There we go. Can we stun the Kumar? No stun. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. I think Sylvia dies here, right? We can go for the Swing Flame once again. Ooh, look at that damage. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we finish off that unit. I do not want her to violent proc all the shenanigans because you never know. Kuma can proc few times to heal up again. Now we got the controls off. The Brita will die towards the dot. We don't need to touch her already. And we can start working on to the Kuma. So every time we crit, that's about close to 10k damage. Very nice. We're gonna be fighting Catherine Sylvia defense over here. And I want to bring in my budget Talisman, alright? We'll be playing Isabel, Nathis, and the Tiana. This lineup is super strong if you have the Talisman, you know? Because you got Irresistible Armor Break, you got the Strip coming out from Tiana, and then obviously Talisman's big damage output AoE. But with the Isabel in play here, we do have Self Attack Buff, and a potential big nuke coming out from the third skill as well. So hopefully we can kill off something on turn 1. We just need to... Probably try to kill off the Kumar. Yeah, I think I go for the Kumar here. Let's see the damage. Endless death. 
57k, okay. The healer is down. We almost brought down the Sylvia as well. So with the Storm of Midnight, big damage output onto the Brita. We can go for the capture opportunity once again and finish this unit off. I want to bring in the Jotan Shaman and Lulu over here. So we got Clans heals. We got Jotan to soak the Asher's damage output. And Shaman will be our, in a way, sole damage dealer. Apart from Jotan's passive if they crit. So it goes for the Massacre. The Asher not on crit rate build, but the triple stun though. Bro. Oh my god, we need to cleanse all this bullshit away. No joke. Getting a little bit scary. <laughs> Alright. Back to square one. Can you stop stunning my ass, brother? I need to kill the truffles, please. Yep, we cleanse. And I'm gonna S2 with the Shaman. But our Lulu violent proc a lot, so I'll definitely take it. Okay, 18k without armor break. Come on, man. Can we land the heal block? Beautiful. That is huge. So even if the Asher does the second skill, yep, definitely Truffles won't be able to heal up from that. And now we can start working on to the Dark Siri. I feel like this Asher, the damage is not there. Yeah, it's just there for the buff. <laughs> Hitting only 1.6k onto my Jotan, bro. Oh my god. Very nice. Yep. Means that we are definitely able to sustain the heal block intact on the Dark Siri as well. Can you stop stunning my white bird, man? I need you to finish the Dark Siri off. Okay, special assault. Goodbye, my friend. And there's nothing the Asher can do. Looks like we need to hit a lot of net force today. So we'll be running the Adam, Vitra, and Rakuni for this one. This is also a pretty safe lineup-ish against it. Where we only probably die towards tons of violent procs on their end. Or they stun knock my Huadam all the way, right? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, the full Ateba pushback though. Oh, the Emily hits hard. No joke. Okay, we can soak that Chilling's damage. Wow. Only one stun. Huadam almost dying though. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> no violent proc? Come on. Uh, we need to kill something. Thank you. Oh my god. Wadam is dead. I need some procs, man. Okay, one more. Damn it. Can we stun? Nice. The speed buff, though. Proc. Kill. Stun. Alright. We stunned the chilling and then we landed the two dots onto the Dark Siri to finish it off. <laughs> nice counter armor break as well. Let's go. We are back to safety zone. Yep. Our Vitra almost full life again. But damn. I didn't expect my Huadam to die so easily, you know. We did have 100% resistance but we just ate all the armor breaks like no tomorrow. Since we already used our Naftis earlier, I'm gonna be bringing in the Dark Siri as the speed leader. Also able to provide some sort of good damage output with the second skill. And then we got the monkey to potentially slow things down and control the attack bar coming out from the opponent. And our Jenna is there to try to kill off the Burgil with the bomb. That's gonna be very important, alright? So I don't like the additional turn from the Burgil. He gets a stun onto my Dark Siri as well. Bro. We need to stun this Perna, please, man. Thank you. Thankfully, no Violent Proc as well. <laughs> if not, my Dark Siri probably did. Stun? Can we stun? Thanks. Alright. So Burgil needs one more bomb onto his face. There we go. Luckily, we landed it. Push back. Okay, our controls is popping off right now. So Burgild dies towards the bomb. We can probably start working onto the Perna. We stack bombs onto the Chandra head. 
All right, can we glance? Very nice. We are landing all of our debuff right now. Just when I say that, we missed the stun. <laughs> oh boy. Come on, man. Okay, our despair working finally. Yeah, I do not want to use the bomb yet. We can put it onto the Perna later. So that kind of secures the kill onto Chandra. Alright, nice bomb onto the Perna's face now. We do have the giant net once again. So we can slow things down, go for the full attack bar pushback. And I don't think Perna stands any chance here whatsoever because we got so many units still alive. He's just gonna get CC'd to death. Oh my god, we need to hit another net for defense. And I'm gonna be bringing in the Ayunu over here. So they do not have any resets unlike the Jasmine. I think Truffle variant should be fine. Falivia, can you resist? Okay. We can send all this nonsense away. Very nice. Armor break. Let's go. Big boy damage over here. <laughs> yeah, ain't no way anyone is gonna sustain armor break Ayunu second skill. It's just too good. Now they don't have any armor breaks. We can just press the auto button, kill off the Siri, leaving the Asher last. I feel like playing Byungchul over here, so we'll pair it up together with the Etna and Ella Drill. Alright. Too lazy to change the runes, but I think should be okay. <laughs> yeah, it's trying to save mana, bruh. Mana very important. Okay, yeah, you move first. Don't stun me, please. Thank you. Oh no, I don't like that. Can we armor break? Oh, we got the Chandra though. I am just gonna go for the normal attack. We captured the Chandra. Right, big damage done. Shatter once again. Chandra goes down. So that is good news for us. As long as we can potentially resist the stun coming out from Sala. Should be nice. Nice violent proc as well. We heal up a little bit. And we can go for the capture onto the Dark Bayek. Alright, he's dead, and last hit, Byungchul. Yeah, ain't no way you're sustaining this. We are down to our last sword of the day, and I'm gonna be rocking the Miang, Adriana, and Rigna over here for this one. So, concept-wise is that we buff up first. I believe we should be able to outspeed the whole lineup of the opponent side. And then, we use Rigna to snipe the Smicer that should deal around 75 to 80k from what I know. And Miang hopefully can one-shot the Kakano as well. Let's see the damage. 77,000? <laughs> 12k per pop onto the Kakano. RIP my friend. We even landed Oblivion into this Brita. Means that the passive is nullified. We can cleanse the armor break off. And we are definitely gonna get 10 wins out of 10. The siege battle has finally ended and we got 360 crystals followed by 1095 guild points. We'll be able to head over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight. So for this one, we got first place followed by Power Rangers at second and Swarns coming in third. Let's head over to open up the rubbish box as well. We haven't got any shiny left for this season, I think. Yeah, let's just choose the top left. Oh, LD scroll? Devil Mon, wow. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, this is actually a very good box. I'll definitely take it. And we can even collect a couple of EXP rewards over here. A reap and a water scroll. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this one. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Take care and stay safe, my friends. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.